Ah, it's all started. Well, once again, Louis, welcome to the Mon- Matt the Monk Show. This is point two. Point two, because the technology, I said about it earlier. Point two, two, oh, oh, it's all right. Well, we just had a little bit of a conversation about, about mental health stuff. We don't have to get into any more of that, bud. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. Like, like I said, I'm quite, I'm quite open about it. Uh, I'm quite happy to speak about it. And obviously, if anyone needed a chat and wanted to speak to someone about it, then obviously my inbox is always open for a chat. Lovely thing to say. And That's thank it. you for me as well. Thank That's you. That's it. That's it. And obviously, I'd rather rather someone talk to me about stuff instead of bottling it up. Like, yeah. Think they're going through it alone. Because that's uh, that's the worst place you could be in. Definitely, definitely, I totally agree. Um, so, right. who's this geezer you're fighting then in December? Right. Well, I, I, I put, I, I'm going as the away fighter, fighting in uh, fighting in Southampton, and uh, the uh, I think. He apparently he used to fight at another gym. He's fighting at this. Uh, he's fighting for this SAS gym down in Southampton now. Right. Um, I'm having to drop a bit of weight for it, which is uh, which is new to me because I'm always uh, I've always been a skinny lad. So this is a should be quite interesting to see how it goes. Um, but he he look he's he looks like a very uh attacking fighter he looks like he likes to fight off the front foot um who's for you then yeah well it's, it's fine it's fine i you know me i'll take i well depending on who it is i'll take it how it comes it doesn't bother me i don't read into things too much i'll go in there put my training into the test and obviously the better man will come out the winner at the end of the day so we know that's gonna be buddy that like uh yeah, that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Actions speak louder than words. I, I could chat all the talk I want, but well, you chat. This is where you chat. This is where you chat. Yeah, it's just tell, tell it. everyone you're gonna knock his fucking block off. Uh, we'll see how the next few weeks of training go. I've got training with a few different people. Got got a bit of a different corner this fight. A bit of a different corner. Um. So uh, there, there might be a few sort of uh, different methods and the different tactics come out. Um, I've got, I'm quite happy with my corner. Obviously, I've got, uh, got my cousin, Chris Pretlove. He's, uh, he's doing my corner that night. So uh, obviously, he'll tell me straight how it is. If, I, uh, if he doesn't like the way I'm doing things, he'll tell me straight. That's what you need in your corner. You just That's it, so. Yeah, I always try to keep the same corner if I can. Yeah, like I had, I had a nightmare trying to get everyone because uh, everyone seems to be away. Um, oh, typical. Everyone's away. It has been difficult, but you know we uh, we adapt to these situations and uh, that's it. You you learn from them. We'll take it in. We'll go in with the same amount of passion as I did for my last fight and. Uh, I think, if anything, I think I'm more up for this fight, I think. Yeah, and it's always handier when you don't know the person you're fighting. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the fight I had against Dan, obviously, we, regardless of what anyone says, I think uh, we were sort of sizing each other up the whole way through camp. I think we both knew we were going to be fighting each other. Um, wow, it's a bit obvious. Yeah, sort of, sort of sized each other up through the camp and... Uh, but there we go. I thought it was a good fight. It was a good fight, and it it went it had a bit of everything in it as well. Yeah, had a bit of everything. Um, obviously, I watch I watch the video now. I watch the video back now, and I think uh, obviously I didn't didn't throw a single body shot that fight. Yeah. Uh, didn't throw a single left hook that fight. Um, so definitely a bit more to my arsenal this fight. But we'll see. Just get the rounds in and uh, see how I go from there. That's all you can do. And are you still buzzing off your win? Uh, I I don't know. I think the more I what I'm still buzzing that I got the win and stuff because it obviously it was class like to get a win and that in front of like all my pals and that. 
first fight. I come out of hospital, I think it was three months before that fight. I was in the hospital for three weeks, and then Gary obviously put a message in the group chat. I thought, oh, definitely got to do it. Like, gives me something to aim towards when I come out of hospital, gives me something to focus on, and uh, that's exactly what I did. And then I got out of it what I put into it. So, he did. He did excellent. And um, very proud of you, bud. Really am. Yeah, like, it's fa- fair play to Dan. He's got a, got a chin on him. He's tough as fuck. And he, he, like I said to you the other day when we were speaking on the phone, he had that first round. And yeah, 100%, 100%. I reckon he took the first round. Um, I was like a rabbit in headlights for that first round. I didn't quite know what was going on. I was a bit like, oh, shit. Right, I'm here now. Let's uh, let's start to rise up to the occasion. Obviously, he ramped it up within the second and third round and got I the love, win. I love the build up to your fight. I loved it. It yeah, was, it was good. It had, it did have a little buzz to it, especially for me personally as well. I did get a real buzz off it. Oh, it was good. It, it was really good, and you handled it. Both handled it really well. Yeah, because to be fair, obviously to to be to fight the first fight didn't sort didn't really know what was going on. Didn't know what the show sort of atmosphere would be like. To obviously fight fight for the belt and be the main event as well. Were crazy. Um, Who's what work you put in? Because Gary don't put any just anybody in for that. I'll yeah, no, obviously. Hats off to Gary and Darren for running that camp because they really did fucking put me through the paces and that pulled me through the shit. Um, because I think without that training camp, I would have just crumbled. It does wonders for you mentally. I, 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 I was suffering through the whole camp as well with my anxiety. I was having anxiety problems. Yeah. And that, and um. I was struggling big time, and I was questioning myself. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it yeah. Just Aaron and me speaking to Gary and stuff, just to pull, just to pull me out of it. Yeah. And um, that's why they put me on first, I think. Yeah. But well, I, you, I had no problem o- o- opening the opening the fights. Not at all. Yeah. I mean, not obviously. I love being main event, but being sat about. Whilst all the other fights are going on, it was, a, it was a big old wait, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a long old day, especially when you keep bumping in, into each other as well. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, it was only in only a narrow little corridor to walk in and out of, and walking past each other all day, knowing full well you're about to get in the ring with each other and kick shit out of each other. But there we go. As long as you can shake hands and have a hug after, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, obviously, I've got all respect for Dan. Fair play. Oh, he'll come back stronger, t- totally different fighter. he come back. Yeah, I'm going to have that on my podcast as well. Yeah, who's to say uh, Who's to say we might not get a little number in in a couple of years' time or in a couple of... Who knows? If he trains hard for it. Another fucking number two, uh, number two. Oh, bloody hell. Potentially, I, I, I know he wants it. I know he wants it. But at the moment, I'm just trying to get as much experience as I can work on myself and then go but from there. Fight, fight the Southampton and help. They're messing yeah, that's, the good. that's the thing. I that's, want to go there like, as the away fighter. They're, they're a fast bunch of lads down there and they won't take you up. Yeah, no, that, it seems all right. It looks like a good little match-up. Uh, the kid that I'm fighting has won, had one fight, one win. Obviously, he's got the same record as me. Um, looks quick, looks attacking. Um, but no, I'm training with the right people, I think. I've got, got some sparring days set up with a few people. Um, so, yeah, it should be good. It should be good. Always try and spar with someone better than you. So. Yeah, well, that's that's always what I have done, really. Obviously, Mikey O'Neill fucking helped me out a load for my first fight because I did quite a few rounds with Mikey and Mikey gave me some big old digs, I tell you. And it was, it was a bit of a wake-up call. He gets you in that corner, mate. That's you fucked, isn't it? Oh, that's it. That's it. But there we go. You, you learn how to work around it and you improve. So Yeah, push him out the fucking way. That's what, that's what <laughs> I used to do. Nah, but there we go. I, I, I don't know. I mean, looking forward to this fight. Though. I am looking forward to it. Yeah, and you do just as. Because you, you look nice and calm and collected. And that's what you should be. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel calm. I don't, I don't really let the pressure of situations like this get to me too much. Um, 
I'll let little small things pressure get to me. Uh, but when it comes to stuff like this, apparently it doesn't affect me. So if I could take this into life, I'd be sound. Well, it's like me in a way. I, I, I can get panicky going shopping at Tesco's. But yet you told me I was fighting in front of 500 people. I, I wouldn't give two shits. No, oh, that's it. That is it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the same vibe. But it was good to get back train, training properly today. I've been been away for two weeks, having some uh, headspace, giving myself some headspace. Uh, obviously, I had a nice two weeks away. Kept up with my training, that kept up with my fitness and everything like that. But obviously, now this is where the real hard work starts. And obviously, I want to come with a bit more power for this show because I wasn't wasn't too happy with, I wasn't too happy with my last performance if I'm honest I don't say why you should be unhappy unhappy for what what because like you said you didn't chuck a left hook or a body shot you just, just because I know just because now I know like it could, oh, I suppose I think everyone can always say they, they could look back at their fights and say oh I could have done this could have done that I suppose so yeah. But that's this is like I said to you, just trying to get the experience. That's why I'm going down to Southampton, get the experience, and then hopefully get a home home show for my third fight, regardless of whether I get the win or loss. But obviously, I'm not going to be thinking about the loss at all. Um, but yeah, hopefully, come back to fight in front of the home crowd. And that it, it's nice to fight in front of your your own people. Yeah, nice. that's it. Obviously, it's a bit annoying as well because. Uh, the, these fights coincide with the same time as the World Cup, so so yeah, we don't know. How do you, you think you're going to get on the World Cup? I don't know. We're so hit and miss, aren't we? We could either do either do great and everyone performs, or we could do absolutely terrible because the media's hyped us up too much and they've all got egos. I reckon we definitely get out of the group stages. Definitely. We should do. We should do. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I don't know. I mean, I think, obviously, Southgate did well for us at the Euros. We did all right, but I, I like Southgate, don't get me wrong, but I just there's something about him. He, he just doesn't have that oomph. I know what you mean. Like, I think with some of the because we've got big personalities in our team we've got big personalities and I think I don't think Southgate's the man to grab those personalities by the balls and say look come on pull your finger out here yeah um but I mean we'll see we'll see at the World Cup I'm I'm hoping he proves me wrong I I hope he shuts me up but well who else have we got we've got no one else well that's the thing I mean yeah, I don't, I don't know who else we'd even look at. So, but I mean, football's a weird one. I think the World Cup's weird. The fact that it's being played in December anyway. Yeah, no, it is a bit mad. I think that's all kinds of wrong. It just shows that money's got to the sport a bit too much. Yeah, definitely. Um, and this is the thing is, I think I think the sports starting to get ruined for the fans now. Just the prices of tickets and stuff like that. It's crazy. I wanted to go see UFC in London. And that was... The prices for them tickets were stupid, man. Yeah, mega bucks. Mega bucks. So yeah. I'd, I'd just rather stay at home and watch it. Well, that's it. I think, obviously, it would be class going there. Because you soak up all the atmosphere. And it's a diff- it is a different sort of... Different gravy as a day out. But, I mean... I don't think you can justify the ticket prices. No, not not with the um, with um, just the UFC. That's expensive as fuck. Yeah, that's it. What do you think about where uh, Jake Paul and Anderson Silva then? <sighs> All he done, he beat up a forty-seven-year-old man. Yeah, this is the thing. Is Jake uh, Paul gonna, uh, is Jake Paul going to fight a fight, or is he just going to fight retirement people? Well, I was watching MMA hour earlier, and he was on there. And he was um, he mentioned Floyd's name, which he would do. Yeah. Said he wanted to take, take, take his O off of him. Yeah. He mentioned Nate Diaz's name. Yeah, that I, I reckon that would probably be the most likely one out of them all so far. 
But I think he beats Nate Diaz because Nate Diaz is a lot smaller than him. Is he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, Jake Paul is he is a big guy, and he? he's not a small guy. I could imagine. He's a he's a fairly decent boxer as well, but I just, I just don't like him. I just think he's he's taking ex ex fighters on. That's the thing. I mean, I just think he's arrogant, really. I just think he's an absolute tosser. He is a tosser, and his brother's not much fucking better either. No, I know, but I mean, just Jake Paul is a different level of bell end, I think. <laughs> well, there was, there was, um, he's, um, he's barred from the UFC and he, he, he went to the UFC and he's been slagging off Daniel Cormier. As who, um, Jake Paul? Yeah. He, he's always got something to say about Dana as well, doesn't he? Yeah, and Daniel went and said, fucking, um, Went and told him straight, you keep my no, my um, mouth, your my name out your fucking mouth. Yeah, that's it. But this is the thing, though. He won't get in a cage with anyone, will he? No. So if he got in a cage with Anderson Silva, I'd have a lot more respect for him. Yeah, and that's the thing. But Anderson the thing. would have killed him. That's the thing. It's all well and good you beating up retired UFC fighters, but one, you're getting them out of the sport they they're known for and getting them in a boxing ring which is a completely different sort of completely different scenario and uh, he's he's fighting old men yeah yeah old men people pass it like he he beat Ben Askren he knocked him out but Ben Askren just had his hip replaced for fuck's sake yeah this is the thing he, he know, he's definitely cherry picking his opponents but I suppose when he's getting the money in that he is, who's who's not going to turn that down if you're a retirement fighter? Well, not when you get a few million. That's what I mean. So, I can see why they're doing it, but I mean, at the end of the day, all they're, all they're doing is, I don't know, they're, well, they're, they're, letting them, they'll build up the legacy and then they'll go fight a YouTuber and lose for a couple of mil. Yeah. Well, like I said, I don't, I don't, I've got a bad feeling about Nate, but I'd like to see it because the build-up would be brilliant because Nate won't give a fuck what he says. Nah, that the press conferences and the build-ups would be class. Oh, yeah. Class. Um, I don't know, what are you thinking of the heavyweights at the moment? I'm thinking they're quite poor. What, in the boxing or the UFC? Boxing. Yeah, I don't agree with the Zora fight so much, even though he's the mandatory contender. We've seen it before, and we'll see exactly the same again, unfortunately. But I'll pay to watch it. I'll pay to fucking watch it, because I love Tyson Fury. Yeah, I love Tyson Fury. Uh, quite a relatable bloke, so... Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, I've, I've got a lot of time. Yeah, his book's very good. Yeah, I've, though, well, that's what I read in hospital, obviously. Uh, I did a lot of reading when I was in hospital and read all his uh, autobiographies and that. Yeah, very, very interesting man. Very misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But but knows how to sell a fight. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. But I mean, but I don't reckon we ever see AJ Fury. Don't reckon we ever see it. Not reckon. No. I don't reckon AJ wants it. I reckon. I reckon we see Fury Uzek next year, and that's the last time we see Tyson Fury. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, who's coming up? Joyce, I suppose. He looks good. Joy Joyce, yeah. He beat Daniel Dubrow, didn't he? That time. That's it. He's looking. Uh, he's looking good. Um. But yeah, no, I don't know. It's not. It's not got the same sort of buzz that it had a couple of years ago, you know, when AJ was knocking people out and... AJ, he just seems to have taken a step back a little bit. That's all. Yeah, he's, not, he's, not, he's not fighting as aggressive as he was anymore, I don't think. I think he, he's... He's not going... I don't know. It's like, it, look, it looks like he's wanting to go the rounds. Yeah, yeah. But when he was, uh, when he was just knocking people spark out... That's what everyone was loving to watch, and that's why he got he built up quite a big following off it. 
Oh, yeah, it was when you beat Klitschko. It was yeah, brilliant. that's it. Brilliant. What a fight. What a fucking fight. Yeah, so, um, I mean, yeah, it's good. I've, uh, I've been following um, a lad called Dennis McCann. Okay, who's that then? A youngster. Um, search him up. It's, it's hard to sort of explain. He's a he's a traveller boy. Um, Tyson Fury spoken about him very highly. Um, he looks shit hot. He looks real good. Um, search him up. You, I think you'll uh, I think you'll like follow him as well. I have a look. Um, shame about Joe Cordina as well getting his belt taken off him. Wow. What are your views on that? I ain't got any. <laughs> it's um, very sad. Very sad. It's, um, I've got the same views as I have about like Conor Ben and that. Yeah. Really? yeah what, who, who do you reckon would have won that fight? Eubank or Ben? I, I reckon Eubank would have took it anyway. Not too sure. It would have been a good fight to watch. They both seemed well up for it. Oh, God. They they were. It would have been a good fight. It would have been a great they, fight. Unfortunately, they was living in the shadow of a fight that happened 25 years beforehand. That's the thing. No. But, I mean, it's all, it's all sort of different now, isn't it? But different. But, I'll still enjoy it. I'll still pay to watch it. <laughs> uh, that's it. It's like me, I'll still pay and watch it. Um, what are you thinking of all these YouTubers fighting and that, Lem? Uh, like that KSI and people like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got... Doesn't interest me, but... Floyd Mayweather is taking a YouTuber on at the weekend. Taking someone on. Who? Who is Floyd? Yeah. Yeah, Deji Kess, or his younger brother. Ah, that's it, Deji. That's him. It, this is the thing, though. It's, it I mean... It's handed to him. Floyd will kill it, him. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But in in some ways, it is, it is quite good because it is getting a completely different sort of crowd interested in boxing, I suppose. Yeah, um, you've, got, you've got that, and you get to see a legend fight. That's it, and it is... It, Obviously, they're obviously making money off it. Oh, he's making shitloads. Floyd don't do nothing for less than ten million, does he? Oh, that's it. But then, I don't know. I think he is selling himself out a little bit, really. Well, I don't see how he can need the money after the amount of money him and Conor McGregor made. Yeah, true. I don't know, but I suppose if you, when you start making that money, I think you should get an addiction to keep on going. Well, I suppose. I've never had money, not like that. Nah, that's it. I can't speak from experience, that's for sure. No, no way. Um, there we go. We go ready. Um, what football team do you follow? I follow Reading. Yeah. Someone's got who? Well, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I'm, I'm struggling as well, bud. So don't worry about it. Uh, we're not we're not doing too bad at the moment. We're not doing too bad. We got robbed the other day at Burnley. Um, Burnley, a hard team to play against. To be yeah, fair. well, they're supposed to be. A lot of people are saying they're probably the best team in the well, one of the best teams in the championship at the moment. And uh, we went there. We looked like the better team. Um, the ref should have given a penalty to Reading in the 92nd minute. Didn't give it because he didn't have the balls. Um, and then they went up the other end and scored. So, uh, obviously, instead of getting three points, which we should have had, because I could imagine we would have buried that penalty. So, we could have got the three points or at least a draw um, to go and get no points and drop us down to 11th when we were doing quite well. So, but there we go. It is, I reckon it is the toughest league in the world, though. A championship? Oh, my yeah. Sure, definitely. Um, anyone, anyone could beat anyone on their day. There's no. Yeah, it's, it's competitiveness. Competitiveness of it is unbelievable. But I say everyone, everyone wants to play in the Premier League, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So. And you need mega money to be able to compete in the Premier League. 
and that's the thing. But the thing that's ruining it now is all these parachute payments because you go up to the Premier League, you get a big payout for being in the Premier League, and then you come down and you're able to sign the players you want. Well, that's it. That's why Burnley is still um, is still very competitive. And that's the thing. Um, as long as they manage to keep half their players, they they don't seem to struggle and seem to do all right in the Championship. Yeah, well, they're tough. Like I said, they're tough out there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Hard. I think it's a hard ground to go and play at. I remember Man United's Burnley's first game in the Premiership was against Man United, and they, and they give Man United a whooping. Did they? Yeah, that, that chuffed me. That did. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. I bet the Forest game didn't chuff you. <laughs> Nor did the Leeds game either. Oh no! Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, last three minutes just weren't uh, concentrating. That's the thing; they do seem to switch off, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. But I've got no comments about our performances at the moment. No, well, I think you're missing Mane. I don't think anyone realised how much Mane was helping that team. His work rate was brilliant. That's the thing, his off the off the ball movement and that I think he he helped he made Salah look good, I think. Well, Mo Mo's on all his own now, isn't he? But that's the thing. He's who has he? Because when it was Mo's uh, Mo, Mane and Firmino flying. Oh yeah. Oh. I, I, I wouldn't want to defend against them three. Not a chance. Not a chance. Get run and ragged. We've had some injuries as well. So I'm not making excuses for us, but we've had some, some shitty injuries. Which is... Yeah, but the thing is, though, you can say that, but with a team like Liverpool, they, they've got the money to afford depth in their squad. Well, yeah. I, I don't disagree, but, but we already... I reckon teams have worked out how to play against us. Yeah, that is the problem. When you start start getting those tactics that are working for you and they work for you for a while, I think teams do tend to start cracking the code and yeah. start you down. Um, but we, we went from beating Man City to losing to fucking Nottingham Forest. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I think, to be fair, I think Forest come out for that game ten oh. times more up for it. Well, you could see what it meant to the players when they when the whistle got blown. Oh, take nothing away from them. Oh, not a damn thing. No, but I mean, what do you think of Jesse Lingard at Forest? I I honestly thought he was going to go back to West Ham. I thought that as well, and he did well at West Ham, didn't he? I thought he really shone at West Ham. To be honest, I th- I think he should have stayed there. I think. The fans seem to enjoy having him there. I think he played well there. Um, I think that was probably the most comfortable he looked in years. But I think he should have stayed there personally. Well, he's gonna be fighting a relegation battle, whatever. And that's the thing now. I'm not sure how long the contract he signed or what. Well, that's the thing. What is he gonna stay there if they go down? I highly doubt it. Not it. Not someone his caliber. No. So, but I don't, I don't know. I think this this is the thing though. I think uh, I reckon it'd make football a lot more interesting if uh, if players if they sign a contract for three years, they're there for three years, no buyout, no nothing. That's it. Oh, could you imagine that? Uh, you'd have Ronaldo sulk him, wouldn't you? Bless him. Yeah. Oh Jesus, he's crumbled since he's gone to United, hasn't he? Uh, he's definitely not the same player. But then the thing is, though, when you've got people like Maguire in your defence and you're a world class, you're literally one of, if not, you know, it's between him and Messi and being the best player in the world, and you're playing with a donkey like like Maguire at the back. I don't think you're going to be happy, are you? Well, Maguire plays fucking excellent for England, though. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, I can't fault him for England. He always seems to get involved in stuff like that. But just that United, he just looks lost. I think I think he get get gets a lot of stick. I reckon. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think the media and that help his confidence. No, no. poor fucker. But it, it's what is only he, he can pull himself out of it. 
That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think once he gets out this right, he should be fine. Definitely. But hey ho. Um, have I frozen again? Yeah, you're all right. You're all right. All good. Yeah, you're all good. You're all good, buddy. Oh, that's it. But um, I don't know. Oh, sports just gone weird for me, really. I, it's, I don't really like people. I don't like some of their attitudes. I think you've been given the opportunity to be in that one percent, and I think people don't just take advantage of it. I think the attitudes and stuff go like back in the day. You'd look at footballers and you think, oh, like what a great role model for younger people and stuff like. And you look at some of the behaviour by some of the players now and you think, like, really not set an example. Because they've got the money to go out and do what they want. Yeah, and some of them act, act like dickheads. They, they obviously don't have the management to fucking... No, that's it. Stop, stop, stop that from happening. Or you, you never saw... I know he's an ex-Man United player, but you never saw David Beckham getting in the shit. No. Not once. No, I mean, that's the thing, that's... You just look at some of the players, but I suppose what that's what happens when you give a twenty-year-old three hundred and fifty k a week. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's it, and let let him crack on, crack on with things. And one, well, I just played his matey boy from um, Man United. He's in, inside at the moment, isn't it? Was it Man- oh, like Gr- Greenwood? That's what happens. Pay too much fucking money. That's the thing, and abuse their abuse their privilege. Yeah. Literally, a brute abuses, abuses his station, abuses his powers. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, I don't know, it's crazy, isn't it? It's, it is crazy. Um, it's what it is, kid. It is, and the thing is, though, it's only, it's only going to keep on going on now. I, I don't see, I don't see how they're going to stop it now. The money's just going to keep on getting bigger. Well, you're going to have. Eden ha- Harland to be the first billion pound player, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. But I agree. He's, he's a beast. Oh, he's a robot, isn't he? He's just a robot. Yeah. There's no other words for it. What he does is just he's just mad. He just scores goals, doesn't he? That's... Just for fun. Just for, just for fun. And there's no stopping him. That's the thing. And then when he's got the likes of De Bruyne and Foden and... I, I rate De Bruyne. I've always rated him. Oh, different gravy. Different gravy. I'll have him at Liverpool in the heartbeat. Yeah, that's it. But I don't see him going anywhere whilst Haaland's there. I think he just loves getting the balls into him. Getting. That's it. Just get, get the old assist. Thank you. Thank you. Get the assist bonus. Go home. Not bad for little ginger lad, is he? No, that's it. It is funny though, because it's like he's got his own heat map on his face, isn't it? <laughs> you see how hard he's been working because he gets redder and redder. <laughs> that's true. That's really true. But no, he is a good player. It 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 gets the top goal scorer this season. Who Haaland? Yeah, easily, easily, easily. I'm looking forward to seeing Arsenal versus Man City. I'm oh, looking... what a game that'll be. That'll be a classy game. I'll watch that. That'll be game of the season, I reckon. They will go for each other's throats. Well, that's it. That that game probably decides top place. Yeah, literally. Isn't it? Because, I, I mean, Arsenal got a good thing going at the moment. They seem to be... They're grinding out results and they're getting them. They've all seemed to click, I think, and uh, it seems to be working for them. It's the first time it's sort of happened in years. How hey, you have clicked. Newcastle, they've clicked. Yeah, they're flying, aren't they? They're doing bloody brilliant. <laughs> they've got they've got that Wilson, don't they? And Alan Wilson, they, they've got um, Almiron. They've got all sorts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really follow the Premier League, see. I, I just follow the Championship. Um, obviously, I look at the scores and stuff like that. I'll tell you, I've like I've been watching that uh, Welcome to Wrexham program. Oh yeah, I've heard about this. Well worth a watch. Well <laughs> worth a watch. 
Yeah, it's really good. You should you should watch that. What's it on? It's on uh, it's on Disney Plus. All right, well I've got Disney Plus. Yeah, it's uh, it's on the you know they've added the sort of new sort of menu bit. Um, yeah, just search it up and it'll come up. It's it's really good. It's obviously it's where um, you know Ryan Reynolds, the geezer from Deadpool. Yeah. He's obviously him and his uh, him and his pal have brought the club, and uh, they filmed the whole thing. But I read something on Facebook that they've uh, they made two million of revenue just off doing that program. Oh my god! Which for a little club like that in North Wales <laughs> isn't too bad, is it? Oh, I remember years ago before you were born, Louis Wexham beating Arsenal. Really? They cup, yeah. It was a major upset. Yeah, I can imagine. Major. What was the what was the big upsets last year? That was a big one, wasn't that? Was it was a non-league team, wasn't it? Did um did over two big clubs on it, I think. Well, Forest did really well, didn't they? They did well in the cup. We won it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what that. I do love the FA Cup. I really do. I enjoy the FA Cup. Yeah, I like the FA Cup. I think I I think that's my favourite part of the season. Yeah, I, I, because any any club I like to see a small club do well. Yeah, no, I mean it was like um, who was it? it? It's great seeing all the big clubs go to these small little League Two grounds and stuff as well. It's brilliant. Yeah, and we'll get get reminded why they started to play football. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But it's good as well because obviously they're used to playing on all these absolute carpets of a pitch and stuff like that. And then you take them to a League One ground, which is boggy as anything. Do you know what I mean? It, it just makes for good football, I think. I think they remind, like you said, it reminds them where they come from, really. And you've got the local postman scoring a goal against you. Come yeah, on. class. Class. Well, do you remember that? Um, who was it? Do you remember that big goalkeeper? Um, who got he had the pasty on the sideline? Oh yes! And uh, he got released from the club for that, didn't he? Uh, oh, but, yeah, just stuff like that, like stuff, little things like that. That happened a few years ago, but that still sticks in my head as a memory from the FA Cup. I remember Histon beating Leeds. I remember that. That's the thing, like. It, there is a magic of the FA Cup, isn't there? Definitely, it is definitely true. It is definitely true what they say about the magic of the cup. Oh yeah, and I, like I said, I, I like seeing small clubs get get go get into the quarterfinals or something like that. Yeah, give the big teams a couple of upsets. It's class. Yeah, and make some money. Well, that's the thing. Obviously, it generates some revenue for the for the little clubs and stuff, which need it. That's for sure, but but that's how football should be. I think I I think these like you get clubs that you know are going into sort of liquidation and having money problems, and then you've got these massive clubs who are making billions and that. Uh, I, I reckon they should help out the other smaller teams. Oh, for sure. Um, but it's never going to change, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> Oh, not at all, Lee. Not, at all. not for a while, anyway. So, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Well, good luck with your fight. Thank you. No, I'm looking. You'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, you never told us the name of the bloke you're fighting. Oh, I can't even remember his name, to be honest. Oh, so he's insignificant to you. That's why. I'm not, not letting it I'm not letting it even get to me. I'm not letting it bother me and I think his name is here we go. So his last name's Powell. That's uh oh. he, he, On, you've gone again, bud. Right. I think we'll call it a day.
Well, that was Louis Davis. Unfortunately, he got cut off right at the end, but hopefully everyone's enjoyed the show. I've enjoyed talking to him. I'm really right. good. Oh, you're back again, Louis. I'll just end it. I'll just end it all. Oh no! Oh, honestly, this phone is doing my head in. It's going out the window. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me. It's good to have a chat. Good to have a catch up. Yeah, you you you're welcome back anytime, mate. Oh, I'll appreciate it. Anytime. And, um, I'll upload this in, in the next half hour or so. All right, mate. All right. T- you take it All easy, right. bud. Andrew, I'll catch you later. All right. Take care, mate. All right. Bye. Bye.